Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Christine. And if you're new here today, I truly thank you for joining me. Let's jump right into this week's project. You can see this big buffet. This thing is massive. It is solid wood underneath this paint. And I'm very excited about this week's project because unlike my flipping pieces, I'm actually going to be keeping this piece for my own formal dining room. It's in pretty good condition, other than it's missing some of the hardware pieces, which we can replace. Hopefully I can restore the wood on top, but my biggest challenge this week is color matching the paint on the bottom to my dining room table. I have a massive dining room table. It's like nine or 10 feet long and the legs don't come unscrewed, so it's not something I can just throw in the truck and take down to the paint store to color match the paint. So I kind of just have to eyeball this one. It's kind of a unique color, so hopefully I'll be successful and we'll be able to give this piece a new life. So let's get started. <laughs> So first things first, I gave this piece a very good cleaning with some TSP and now I'll be using this stripper to hopefully remove the paint off the top and see what condition the wood is underneath. I'm quite new to YouTube and I'm trying to only upload projects that I do that are uniquely different. I so far have done a farmhouse piece, a kind of feminine, a very feminine, girly piece, some stencils, a more masculine rustic look, a sleek mid-century modern, but this piece is going to actually be very unique because like I said, I'm trying to match it to my dining room table. I love that distressed kind of restoration hardware look and hopefully we'll be able to achieve a little bit of that today but I can see that the wood underneath is in pretty good condition, which I'm quite pleased about. But this paint was very sticky and goopy and very difficult to remove. I had to do a second layer of the stripper because I didn't apply very much the first time. I wasn't sure what I would see underneath. So I did a second layer of the stripper and there's just something so satisfying about removing this paint and seeing this beautiful wood underneath. Once I finished, I went in with some mineral spirits just to deactivate the stripper and clean everything up. And now it's time to give the sides and the drawers a good scuff sanding so that the paint has something to adhere to. And then I'll need to sand the top just to get down to the raw wood so that I can restain that. I removed all the hardware and then I just used a 220 grit sandpaper for the base and the drawers, just like I said, to scuff things up. And then I did the step up uh, system with sandpaper on top. I started out with an 80 grit and then just gradually moved up to a 400 grit to get it smooth and just get rid of all that paint and stickiness. <laughs>
I just went in and hand sanded these sides and corners, just the areas that my sander couldn't get to very easily. And then a few of the drawers had some pieces broken off. So I just put some wood glue on those and clamped those down for a few hours to make sure they dried before I sanded those down. I'm starting out with the color Timeless Blue, and I'll be using several different colors layered on this piece. My dining room table has kind of a blue undertone, and then some layers of dark gray and slate gray, and then everything is distressed back so that some of the raw wood is peeking through. That's just the best way I can describe it, so hopefully we can match that today. I am using bare chalk paint, which I truly love. I'm using it on a lot of pieces lately. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just love the coverage of this paint. And unlike my usual sleek and smooth finish that I like to do, I'll be kind of just putting this paint on really sloppy. <laughs> and then I'll sand down between each layer so that I can keep that distressed look, hopefully have some of that raw wood peeking through, some of that white paint peeking through, and hopefully we can kind of match that distressed antique look of my table. <laughs> I'm just hand sanding this first layer just to make sure that the paint is smooth and that I can have a little bit of that white paint and that natural wood peeking through before I add my second coat. So for my next layer, I'm going to be using the color Deep Thought. And this is just a really pretty gray. It's kind of a slate gray. It's actually a really pretty color on its own. And then for my top, I'll be doing a mixture of mahogany, which I love, and I use that a lot, but it's a little bit too dark for this piece. So I'll be diluting it with just a natural light stain and applying that stain to the top of this piece.
I put three coats of polyurethane protective finish on this just because it's going to be getting a lot of use. And I just took a 600 grit sandpaper and sanded in between each coat to make sure that it was nice and smooth. Okay, now that my second coat of paint has dried, I'll take my hand sander and I really want to distress this piece well. I'll do all the corners and edges so that that white paint is really coming through. Also, some of the natural wood is starting to show through. And then I put it side by side to my table and I realized it's just a little bit too light. So I'll do one final coat of paint, actually a kind of a wash. I'll mix two colors, a darker Rust-Oleum charcoal with the deep thought that I just used. And then also I'll mix that with some water so that I can just have a light layer go on top, wash that on, wipe it back off, and then I'll distress this one more time. We are almost finished. Okay, I've got that wash on. I've sanded it again and the pink colors match so great. I'll show you here in a minute side by side with my dining room table. I just want to finish this off with some protective wax in clear and you can see as I apply this, I love this wax. It just really deepens the color. You can see here in a minute on the two top drawers how much deeper that looks and we are going to add the hardware and we are finished. I love how this turned out. You can kind of see, I apologize. Well, I don't apologize for the beautiful sun coming in the window, but it does make it kind of hard to see. But you can see the corner of my table up against the buffet and the colors match so beautifully. I am just so happy with the final product.
Thank you so much for spending a small part of your day with me today. And if you haven't had a chance to, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you join me back here for projects in the future. Give me a big old thumbs up. It sure does help. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.